Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this hatched dropped shadow text effect. First, select the type tool, click on the artboard and type your text. Let's resize it and align it to the center. Now highlight the text and let's select a different font. You can always change it later. Now deselect the text. Next we will create a new swatch with a hatched pattern. To do that select the line segment tool or press the backslash key on your keyboard. Now press and hold the shift key. Then click on the artboard, hold and drag the mouse to draw a 45 degree line. Change the stroke to whatever color you like. I'm going to leave the stroke weight as it is, but if you want thicker lines, then you should set it to a higher number. Now go to Object, Pattern and select Make. Click OK to this window and we are ready to create our custom swatch. Name it whatever you want, I'm going to type gold lines. Change the tile type to brick by row. Leave the brick offset as it is and change the width and the height to 7 pixels. You can always adjust it later. And here is a preview of your new swatch. Select done from the tab menu to close this window. Let's delete this line, we won't need it anymore. Now your new swatch should appear in the swatches panel. If you like you can save it to your library. Next we will add a drop shadow to our text and use this swatch for its style. To do that first make sure your text is selected. Now open the appearance panel. If you don't have it open go to window and select appearance. Let's add a new fill. To do that, click on the Add New Fill icon from the bottom. Now click on this arrow to open the Swatches panel and select the new swatch we've just created. You can notice that the new fill was applied on top of the existing text layer. We need to send it to the back. To do that, click on the Fill layer, hold and drag it under the characters layer. Now all you need to do is to move the gold lines layer down and left to form a drop shadow. Click on this fill layer to select it. Move your mouse down and click on the FX icon to add a new effect. Select distort and transform and choose transform. Now check the preview box so you can see what you are doing. From the move option click on the horizontal slider and slide it to the left. Then click on the vertical slider and slide it to the right. And play with these two settings to apply an angle that you are satisfied with. Now if you don't like how close the hatched lines appear, you can always go back and edit this pattern. First select your text. Now open the appearance panel, click on the fill color option window and select the edit pattern icon from the bottom. Now change the width and the height value to a higher number. Just experiment with it. Click done and the new changes should be automatically applied to your pattern. And finally let's add a white stroke to the black text to get a different effect. Open the appearance panel again. Click on the stroke color box and change it to the color of your background. In this case we'll choose white. And of course you can change the stroke weight to whatever you like. Just see what works well with your text. 
Using this method will allow you to go back and still edit your text, change its font style, size or color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.